So this podcast is going to take a little bit longer than usual. So if you need to take a break and get a drink of water or something, I'll go ahead and wait. Okay, so now that everybody's back. But this problem is very useful because this is how trigonometry is used in real life, like for surveying and such. So let's say that this is the ground. And then there's this hill. And you could actually draw a hill or you could just put a straight line and say that's going from the horizontal to the top of the hill. So this person finds the angle of elevation. So that means looking from the ground up to the top of the hill. So that would be from where they're standing over here. They look to the top of the hill and that angle is 50 degrees 10 minutes. Okay, then the person moves 40 feet away. So they were standing right here. Then they move 40 feet away. And the angle of elevation is now smaller. So it's now 42 degrees and 20 minutes. Find the height of the hill. So this is the height. Now the reason this problem is going to take a little bit longer is because this part right here is missing. So we'll need to use another variable like x. And when you have two variables, you need two equations. So one equation is going to come from ignoring this part and just using this right triangle right here. So this would be using this angle, this would be opposite and this would be adjacent. So that is tangent. So one equation is going to be tangent of 50 degrees, 10 minutes equals opposite over adjacent. Okay, now use this one. So this will be the angle, the 42 degrees, 20 minutes. This is opposite, and then adjacent would be this whole side right here, which would be x plus 40. So the other equation would look like tangent of 42 degrees, 10 minutes, equals h over x plus 40. Now they both have an h, so what I could do is, on this one, multiply both sides by x. So x times the tangent of 50 degrees 10 minutes equals h. On this one over here, multiply both sides by x plus 40. So I'm going to put it in parentheses, x plus 40 times tangent of 42 degrees 10 minutes equals h. Now, since they both are equal to h, that means they have to equal to each other. So that means these two equal each other. So x times tangent of 50 degrees 10 minutes equals x plus 40 times tangent of 42 degrees 10 minutes. Now we need to get the x's on the same side. So in order to do that, I need to go ahead and distribute this tangent. So the right side would have x times tangent of 42, 10 plus 40 times that same tangent, 42, 10. And for the left side, just recopy it for now. Okay, now this has an x and this has an x. So I'm going to put them on the same side. I'm going to take this one and subtract it to move it to the left side. So the left side will have the original x tangent of 50 and 10 minus x times tangent of 42 
you know what? That was supposed to be 42 and 20 the whole time. Why didn't anybody tell me? Guys. Okay, that's all right. I fixed it. It's supposed to be a 20. 42 and 20. And this one too. So 40, tangent, 42, 20. And then we only have two more steps. One is, since this has x and this has x, then you could factor out the x. So it would leave tangent of 50 and 10 minus tangent of 42, 20. And then the right side, just copy it down. Okay, then the last step is to solve for this x, divide both sides by this right here. So x is on the left side, and then the right side already had 40 tangent of 42 degrees 20, and then divide by this whole thing. This problem takes a little more writing than usual, but it's going to be so worth it because we're going to find out the height of a hill. Now I just need to type this into a calculator. So for degrees and minutes, to be able to type that in, you can go right here to angle. All right, first I need to put the 40 tangent and then 42, and then go second angle, and right there's degrees, number one, so just hit enter, and 20, put second angle, and there's the minute. And then divided by. So the calculator needs to know all of this, including the subtraction, all of this is in the denominator, so I need to put that in parentheses. Then there will be tangent of 50 second angle degrees, 10 second angle minutes. Now close that parenthesis right there. And then minus tangent 42 second angle degrees, 20 second angle minute and then close that parenthesis and close the last parenthesis. And it turns out that it's not that tall of a hill. It is 126.604 and the units are feet, it says in the problem. Well, I thought I was done with that problem, but it turns out that I had only solved for x. X is not the height of the building, so what I need to do is go back and at the top of the page I had this equation. H is equal to X times tangent of 50 degrees in 10 minutes, and then take this 126 and plug it in. That is going to be the H. So 126.604 tangent of 50 degrees 10 minutes, and what does that equal? So 126, oh, hold on. Okay, well, you can see the calculator now. 0. 0.604 and then tangent of 50 second angle degrees, 10 second angle the minutes. So the height is actually h equals a 151.7, and I'm going to go to three decimals, so 775 feet. That is my final answer.